Here we go. So uh, Shelby evidently was the one that was asking about this yesterday. So I'm going to walk you guys through this on how to do this. Okay. So first of all, um, this is really not too bad. Okay. Now you can see right off the bat, I've got a sphere. Okay. Does everyone see the sphere? Okay. So I'm going to drag another sphere out here. I'm going to size this up just a tad. If I can get my mouse to work properly here. Okay. So I'm going to do this part. Now, the next thing is I'm going to get a box. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of push this box in just a little bit like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this thing out and pull this out this direction. And I'm also going to pull this thing up straight and I'm going to shrink this in just a little bit more. And all I'm basically trying to do on this one is I'm going to uh, kind of have this thing cut. Okay. And I want this to be more or less directly in the center. Now, as I go through this, you're going to see this is going to be more or less like a cut smack dab through the center of my sphere. Right? So I think you guys can see that part. That part doesn't make, too much of a difference. The other aspect of it, and this is the part I think you have to kind of think about. What I'm also going to do on this one is I'm going to kind of shrink this ball down just a tad. If I can get this to actually shrink, if I can grab one of these sides, there we go. Okay. I'm going to shrink it down just a tad here. Now the other part, you can kind of see if I've got this center, which I'm going to pretend this is center. So I'm just going to get here real quick. Let's go to my alignment. So this is directly in the center. Um, and I'll have it like that. So there's my, my center cut right there. And then the other aspect of this one is I'm going to get a scribble. Okay. And once I have the scribble, I'm just going to go ahead. I'll click here for a moment. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of like use this little arc. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of go around over here to roughly about there. Okay. And then I'm going to make another one, which actually that's fine. I'll hit done on this one. We'll see if that looks about right. We'll see if that looks. Uh, that's going to be close. Okay. So I'm going to turn this one into a hole as well. Okay. And I'm going to zoom back out. Now I can spend a little bit more time on that to make that look a lot nicer. Obviously I'm just kind of doing a rough version of this at the moment. Okay. And what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to scale this thing up so I can see this. And then the other aspect of this, what I need to do is I also need to kind of rotate this. So it looks like this direction. Okay. And my other aspect is I'm going to ooh, not do that. I'm going to actually move this thing out like this. Okay. And I'm going to move this, this little basketball, this direction for a moment. And what you're going to see is once I have this, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it again. Okay. And then I also am going to need to rotate this, this direction. Okay. So there's my negative 180. And what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to get set object. Oh man, that looks bad the way I've got that set up. I rotated that wrong or did I maybe I didn't rotate it wrong let's try this again so I'm gonna raise this thing up just kind of move this up here and I'm gonna rotate this this direction so it cuts through and hopefully I did this right where it actually goes through move this up just a tad more might have actually made that cut a little too strong I think I might have Did I move that wrong? I did. Okay. So once I have that part, you can kind of see it's going to make that little cut. And then I'm going to kind of do the same thing over here. So I'll move this one over here, roughly about here. Try to make this thing line up. So move this thing up as well. So it looks like it's going to be about right. Move that this direction here a little bit more. All right. So once I group this thing together, which let me make this thing orange real quick. Make this one orange as well. Okay. So from there, I'm going to group this thing together. All right. So now if I look at this, for the most part, I've got most of my basketball there. Okay. The only thing I need to do is, which let me redo this because I've got to do one important part. So I'm going to paste this one as well. Okay. On this one, I'm going to rotate this sideways. So it's 90 degrees right there and put this directly in the middle like that. Let's try to group this thing again. Okay. Now the inside to get this thing black, I literally just click on this thing, make this thing black, put this on the inside of my basketball. Now I probably need to scale this up just a tad. So I will. 
And then all I need to do is go over here and I'll align it. So I'll align it here, align it there, align it right in the middle. And I probably need to make that a little bigger. But if you catch on to it, what you're doing, you just make that sphere a little bit bigger and then you more or less have your basketball. So you got the black one, you're gonna have a black sphere on the inside. You make your little cuts to get that little thing. And if you do it right, which again, you can kind of see if I spent a little bit more time on that, that doesn't look too bad. You can kind of see, obviously this line looks a little weird and this line looks a little weird, but for the most part, you get catch on to what you're, you're more or less trying to do. Okay, that's it.